Hello, this is Stefan and you on my channel and we're gonna do today another makeup on my face. Even you didn't see any previous one. <laughs> so let me do the cleansing on my face. I was working whole day so I didn't prepare my face with anything before. I just did it in the morning but after work I prefer to clean it again. Let's do a quick cleanse with La Roche Posay. I don't know if I pronounce it right because it's French. And let's do it with micellar water, ultra cleansing, makeup removing, soothing. I don't have any makeup, but I would prefer to clean my face like this. Because I think I have something, some residue on my face. I was like cleansing all the balls after the coloring what i done today. Also, I got the color on my face right here. <laughs> But I removed it pretty fast because my client told me about that. She saw it in the mirror and asked, is it color? <laughs> but you know, it was like dark brown, like, I don't know, like, not even like this. Let me show like this brown and it was like huge like that. Like till my fingers. <laughs> Obviously it's a color. I didn't sneeze like that. <laughs> but thank you very much for telling me that. Otherwise I'm just gonna work until I see myself in the mirror. But sometimes it's happened. Let's move on. After this, we need to rinse it. Usually I will do rinse with water, but since we're sitting here, let me go ahead and rinse it with toner. I'll use this toner. It's Orgate Balancing Toner with Vitamin B. I don't know if this vitamins, 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 I don't know, <laughs> gonna help me to reduce something on my face. I apply it just like that and it will go ahead and do it like that. And it smells a bit like chamomile. I'm not a fan of the fragrance, but I think it's all right. Oh, whisper here. Yeah, and probably I would need to shave before I would do it. But I forgot about that. Let's do it right now. So let me dry a bit my face. Hello, drama. Okay. Pretty nice, no? <laughs> Beautiful, I love it. It's so easy to dry some products with this one. Next, we're gonna do a beard. I forgot, sorry. <laughs> so much work was during the day, not only in the morning. And it's gonna be loud. Sorry, guys. So I'm back. Please focus on me. I'd probably clean a bit more. I mean, I even thermal spring water, it doesn't matter how the bread cold, it's not sponsoring anything. Oh, while you were away, I got a lot of new products. So let's see what I got. Plump right back by NYX Professional Makeup with Electrolytes Mix. So Avec, Avec, Avic, Avis, I don't know. Okay, let's do that. It's with the brush, just to make sure about clean products and clean hands. As you can see, it's a new one. I press it like three times before it starts to work. You know, lately I start to use this sticky pot to remove hair from my brushes since my cat's running around everywhere and doing whatever they want. So let's apply it to, to the brush and start to apply it to the face. And the neck, and my neck, and the neck, and the neck, and the neck. Mm, I love the smell. Fruity, but does anyone know what fruit inside the plump? Because it's not. Maybe it's a plum. You know, plump. <laughs> I don't know. Just trying to figure out if it's that or oh, something different. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of sticky. Oh my god. So fast transferring to my finger. Um, I did not expect that. Let the primer dry and let's move on and find our foundation today. What we're gonna use. Oh, I have something new for that too. Okay, let's see what I got. Let me share with you. This is Flawless filter by Charlotte Tilbury and it's Hollywood Flawless filter for Superstar Youth Glow. So I personally not prefer doing it glowing and I took it in the medium for it but let's see if it's worth it and if it's pretty good like everyone says about that. Okay let's see and I know it has a kind of as a concealer brush so let's try to do that. We we are where we usually glow. I know I glow everywhere after I start to work. I finish the work. Oh. Just like this, okay. 
Let me apply it to all face and later see what you're doing. I don't know, is it what is that? It just you glow, but for what? Can I just use a glow and that's it? And I will use the same brush what I used before. Do fiber, foam foundation. But we can apply this so before base primer or this glow. Let's see how we're gonna glow. We're gonna glow! Oh my god, I can see it on the camera already. Well it's pretty glowing. I don't know. Do I need to apply it after I do all the primers or I can apply it on top? Because I still want to apply something to my beard. I'm going to make it red and make it disappear a bit. I don't know. Oh, you look at this glow. I'm like so young, I'm like 10 years. <laughs> As you can see, porcelain skin, you know, you don't need even peeling mask for that. You already have it. Look at me. Look at me. What you see? Procris. Sephora 27. Is it 27? I think it's 27. Does it say 27? Let's see. Show us it. Show it to us. Okay, Chris 27. You can see it. By Sephora. Oh, yeah, it's 27. Sorry, guys, I didn't see the huge number on another side. I almost forgot to apply my red. Grayness reducer step one primer by Makeup Forever. It's like this. And let's apply it to areas where I have my beard and mustache. So let's grab it. Oh, I probably took too much. Grab it by the fluffy brush and let's start to apply it to the beard area, like here. And what is that? Oh my god, I forgot to uh, dump my beard blender, but I need to put it down. So I will apply that. And probably will go to beard blender to make it like, oh, maybe not. Let's see. And my mirror is pretty far away, which one I'm using right now. So if I look down, I'll be sure I'm still here with you guys. I just don't look at you. <laughs> wait, 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 don't worry, I'll be back. And this mirror, usually when I hold it in my hands, it intends to jump into my face and you don't see it anymore. And I, I will continue to make up without even looking like you could not see me. Girls, you don't need to do that if you don't have a dark mustache or you, you just shave. But if you do, so you know right now the trick how to cover it and hide it from boys. Even though, on, you know, in a couple hours of your date, they probably will kind of feel it when they rub their face on your face. <laughs> so be sure they don't kiss your cheek. Or you don't kiss their cheek. You can let them kiss your cheek because you're going to feel the same way if they just shave. You see, I, again, I covered my face with this mirror. It's a beautiful mirror. I love the popsicle like that. Even. You couldn't see it's a popsicle. The flawless filter is on my face and I think it's good. And I like the glow. So if you're looking for the glow effect with a photo shoot and you want to find something what really provided and still have some like uh, smoothing and like neutralizing effect on your skin, you probably can go with this one. And I don't know about your shade, but mine is four and it's perfectly fine. You can see it's not, no, no difference with my neck. I have also the shade of neutral four in her beautiful skin foundation, which is pretty shiny. I don't know if the camera will apply it. I'll show it to you. Maybe like, it should be like that. And I have it in number four. Neutral. Let's grab it. It has a palm. Oh, you see, I already used it. <laughs> yes. Okay, and let's apply it on top. Oh, maybe more. Four. And let's again use this brush that we use for the primer and for the filter. Okay, let's grab foundation to the brush and let's start apply to my face. And I intend to apply first of all on the areas I use the primer to cover my withdrawal, which is not there right now, but it's gonna be by the end of this video, everything's gonna be back to my face. <laughs> I don't know. I just pretty slow with recording the video and talking at the same time and also keeping it loud and Enough for everyone to hear, but if I start or intend to fall asleep, please leave a comment below for the next time to remember not to do that. So you can give me advice. I'm open to any feedback and also for suggestions what we can do for the next video. Because I love to do new, fresh, maybe something what I didn't try. Let's find something what we can do together. So you see, it's pretty easy application with the blue fiber. I just tap it like I do with the beauty blender. We can also try to move the brush around, but I don't think it's necessary to drag the foundation around. I love to like just tap, 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 and that's it. And is it good enough? Let me check with my. Popsicle. Ooh, I love it. Covered. Ugh. Maybe I need to blend it better, but otherwise it's just pretty nice foundation. And I love the tone. Let's try to do a bit more foundation. Let's grab this one. This is the this one. It's 237 detailed shadow, I think, by JSAP. It's also from AliExpress. It's pretty good. Well, after you wash it, don't forget to wash it. Because sometimes I don't wash them, then I go back and I apply something like that, and I got there. I mean not everywhere, but at least one gets blown up. But I mean, which brand doesn't do that? Please tell me or send me a link or just send me the brush. I would love to test it and show to everyone if it's true. And I'm just making sure where I have my foundation right here underneath my nose because sometimes not even beauty blender can reach here on the brush what I used before. <laughs> and you see the coverage is medium right here. I have my, uh, what did I have? I don't know. I mean, I have a spot right here, but I don't know how to call it right now. Right now. What is it? Math, 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 math. I don't know. I just don't mind to find the name for that right now. <laughs> Pretty good. I love it. Oh, I, I like it. I even love it. Okay, let's go ahead. 
If you want to use the original Beauty Blender, or a fake one. Or I can go ahead and do the original and just worrying. You already know how it works, you know how much it costs. And if you like me to use that in the next video, you can tell me. Just leave a comment below. Okay, so I'm gonna wet it down and I'll be back just in a couple minutes. So see you guys. Okay, as you can see, I'm back and they're pretty dumb. Uh, I already squeezed them out. You need to wet them. Don't forget to do this trick with water <laughs> and squeeze them like that. Mm. Can you squeeze them? Oh, I like it. Uh, I like it. Squeeze, squeeze. Okay, done it. <laughs> you see how big it becomes? It used to be like this size. Hmm. Even the fake one grows. And this one is small one. I don't know. I don't know. Have you seen how small it was before? Like this, not too much of grow, but still, nice balls. Okay, I use a small one just in the smaller area right here, with my eye around it, because I don't want to waste too much time with the foundation, and it's, you know, it's drying, or fixing, and I, I'm not sure, I don't remember it. This one fixing pretty fast, and uh, starting to be, uh, starting to be like, I don't know, powdered, or something like that, pretty dry, but I think it's not, so let's see. And we still have a lot of foundation on the blender right now, but the blending can let me check it with my needle, and you can look at me on the side, just like that. Oh, I love the glow. You still can see it through the foundation. Well, your best healthy looking skin day every day. Beautiful skin foundation. I don't think it's enough coverage around my beard. Let me do the foundation on the palette again, and I will reapply it to the beard with the beauty blender. And I will use it like this. And let's go back and apply another layer on there. It's already better. Because I think I just stole a lot of my foundation using it. Uh, blending it with the blender. Sorry, I'm quiet. I lost my upper lid, as you can see. But don't worry about that. I will draw my upper lid to my nose to get it back and be more noticeable. Sorry, guys, we don't do makeup for men right now. We'll do it next time. You'll see how to prepare your face for a photo shoot. If you want to look natural, but still correct your face to improve something and reduce something if you don't want to see it. Let me do it like that. Okay. I think it's not red anymore, and it's really beautiful. And you know, when I'm using the beauty blender on my face, all that sponge, what kind of looks like a beauty blender, or trying to be as a beauty blender. Okay. Mm, I love it. Look, it's seamless. You don't have any depth right now in your face, but you still have the glow. I don't know, even just the foundation, what I used on top of that, or still the glow can shine, or like, like, <laughs> I'm here, I still on your face, and you can see me even with foundation on. Next time I'll use this filter, applying under the main foundation, like it's still outer doubler, and we'll check if it's still gonna glow. I, I'm not sure, so stay with me, we'll decide it in the next video. Okay, what's next? Next is concealer. Uh, what we wanna do? Today I saw a TikTok with one video where uh, they did one half of face with uh, a makeup style from 2016 and then now that was from 2023. And they've been doing the concealer in the way like dot of the concealer closer to the eye, then a dot of like blush, but not too like, not too red and deep and deeper blush right here. Uh, I never tried it before. Let's try it out, why not? Uh, but let me see what blush I have. So I have makeup forever for blush like this. And I think they use something like lighter like, you know, like this or like this. Oh no, or this. This or this or this closer to middle of the eye and then the darker like that to the corner of that. Uh, let's see what I have. Ooh, so beautiful. Oh, it smells also good. Oh, I love it. Let's try doing the concealer like this and then we're gonna use the blush like that and then we're gonna go with like darker this one. Concealer, this one. Mm -hmm. This is Nars. I love Nars and brushes. It's so good. It's so good. It's so, so I love it. Ugh. Okay, this one concealer buffer 142 by JSOC. This is a black one, but you see this is black gold and this is black silver. So I probably want to lose it. So we'll use the silver for lighter blush and um, black gold for darker. Okay, and the concealer we're gonna apply not with this brush anymore. This is Nars and let's do the lightest concealer from this palette. Even though I probably have it in another palette, what I already use like this with correctors. Let's do the lightest one because I will use another thing, what I just got, and it's powder and it's pretty light. Oh, you would love it. So just take it to the brush. I usually use like spatter line, put it on my palette. Where to put it at? Okay, so we do this stuff like this here. And here, I hope it's correct. The girls, oh guys, if you saw it on TikTok, tell me if I'm doing it right. I'm probably doing it wrong, but anyway. Oh, let me do it, try it, first of all. Okay, let's do the next one. Did I sell silver for the lightest? Okay, let's go with silver one. Okay, let's, let's build it right here. Let's do the same right here. It's gonna be fine, okay. And let's go to the darkest one, which is this one. Yeah, go, and let's grab this one. I didn't use these blushes, as you can see before. Oh, oh. Why do they don't call it anything? anything? I mean, they probably did, but I throw away the package what was on top of that. Um, but let's see, it's probably gonna be some pretty nude natural makeup, which I'm not a fan of, but who cares? We're doing it just to try. Probably I need something smaller right here. Okay, closer to the corner, I probably will go just like this. I don't know, do you see? I think it's pretty light here, even not noticeable all the blushes what we put underneath on that. I keep my eyes open because I don't know if I told you before when I close my eyes start to blend home with beauty blender concealer you can see right now this is closing this and that so I finish it with a brush usually again but not this one this is not gonna blend anything it's just gonna reapply it back or we will look up and do it yeah it works you don't need to <laughs> yeah kind of works I don't know why let me move on with <laughs> this time just to make sure I still have my blush on and it's not fixed as a dot before it dries and I'll do it here and I'll apply and you see, we lighten up the inner corner with nice, fresh, beautiful, like this. Okay, I think it's enough. Let's maybe put a little dot right here. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, good. It's enough. So this is pretty much it. I mean, it's on it. You're not blended. 
I don't know, what do you see on the camera? On the camera it's probably pretty insane. Oh, we can do the contour today with my makeup forever. I have two eyeshadow loaders contouring. These two, this one is in uh, fair to medium, and it's contour one easy contour. And the second one is medium deep. And I used before the fair medium, and it ate my foundation. So, what do you think, Charlotte? Is it supposed to do that? It's probably not the way it's supposed to work. Okay, let me do the nose. My face, what do you guess? Oh my god, I already put it somewhere else. Let's go. Where is it? Okay, go back. Okay, kind of like that. I'll blend it anyway. So, and let's put it on top of my nose, where I want to light it. So, you light it like this. Okay, nice, beautiful. I love it. Let me do the chin. I don't want a white chain because I pretty good with my chain. Let me finish it here. Okay, and let's do. I didn't do this part. And you know, I have already aged a bit and I have some spots where I need to cover. And also, we put the lightest right here just to make sure this area is bright enough and it's good. I sometimes put it on my lids, but today we probably will use some base for that. And you know, I decided on a theme for the today's episode. We're gonna do some Valentine's Day makeup. Okay? Bam. So, no girl need to struggle today. Put removal in place. So then I will probably do it in the lower corner as well because we did not do the triangle right here. And just apply the blush. So like this. And let's also make lighter this area right here. Okay, like this. And the same on the other side. Because later we're still gonna use the contour on the on our chin and the blood or whatever. The bone. Okay, let's switch to the beauty blender and let's do it pretty soft here. And I still have some, some foundation right here. I probably need to switch to another side to make it go lighter instead of darker. I mean not darker, I just blending it to the foundation and make sure it's seamless foundation and your beautiful beautiful concealer what makes your face sh not shine but pop to see it for the space and let me blend this one with this fluffy brush just to make it softer and let me see if it's blending good on my beautiful needle okay it's fine can you see is it lighter in the areas it's supposed to be light i hope so so what i want to say about this technique with like applying the concealer then the blush and the darker blush uh, i don't see it on the camera i don't know if it's like my blush is too not too powerful or something like that but let's go and apply contour do we want to test Charlotte's contour wand? Let me show you guys this wand. Okay, let's do fair to medium. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. And it's fair to medium like this, and it's contour wand. Easy contour. Let's see how easy it is, as it says, because it has an applicator like this. I don't use it, because when I do it, I'll do it like that. If I do it like that, it's going to be a spot, like circle spots, and I try to blend it. They're not going to blend as I want them to. Then I use, it's a smaller brush, but I got it from Amazon. Everything's going down. So on the palette, again, we're going to apply the contour. To open it before use, you need to twist it. I don't care that, but let's produce one. Okay, let's put a bit like a chocolate. You see the color? Good. Okay, I grab the brush. Let's up, grab it and let's apply it. The secret of facelift effect. We need to target this area at the top of your ear and on your lip right here. And apply it right here. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. And let's blend it a bit up. up, 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 up. Don't go below the line too much because it's not going to help you with your contour. It's just going to collapse your face lower, which is not my intention today. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Let me try to blend it first of all with the foundation. But yeah, it's going to be pretty girly, easy to repeat, and hard to notice makeup today, as you can see. Maybe I need to move a bit here, closer to my to my nose. Sometimes people also sell like this line. I don't know. I, I prefer it to this line. Only doing like, I don't know. We just this one create the face lift because we're going to the temple raising our face up but when you do it like that it probably will create like falling oh uh, falling falling inside of your it's gonna pop your cheeks inside your scalp like you almost did but let me reapply again a bit right here and blend it up like here like there let's create this nice shade okay blend it blend it blend it blend it, blend it. okay it's fine i mean right now i see it, it's my foundation for you it's probably not even noticeable, but you see, it's kind of gave you a bit of shadow. Gave me, it gave me, gave me, gave me. One more time, okay, okay. Let's go here. Well, same. Let's do corner ear, corner lip. Push it a bit, okay, right here. And I'm gonna do it like this. And I'm gonna apply it right here, like this. Just up, 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 and blend it a bit. Sorry, sometimes I'm trying to sing, even I don't know how. But enjoy. Are you gonna sing openly on the channel like I do? And I don't know how to do that. <laughs> and I'm not afraid to do so. So let's do this again to apply a bit more product to make it darker. Will it work? I don't know. Charlotte, tell us. Will it? I think it does. With your product, it blends pretty nicely. It looks like a cellar or probably something else what I blended before. Didn't work well. But you see, with foundation and glue, what do we have today? It works nice. And let's do the control of the face. So we're going to do this temple. Well, I'll have my hair going to grow pretty high in this area. So I will apply it like this here. Should be fine. Oh, we're also going to do the nose today. Do you want to do nose? Do you want a nice blended nose? Not blended. We're going to make it narrow and beautiful. As you were born this way. You were born this way. I told you, I could not do that. And I don't want to. Right now, so let's apply it right here. A little bit like this. And don't lose the same shape and the percentage of the dark all over here. Because I don't want to. Wow. 
one side of the face be a bit different compared to another one. And we try not to go too much into the hair because my hair is pretty light, so you can see through them and kind of recognize what you still uh, have, like some not covered skin, but don't mind it. You probably will use some hair. You girls can use your natural hair if you have long, it's beautiful. If you have short, even easier and beautiful too. Everyone is unique and you need, you need to try to make your uniqueness, talent, and blah 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 to shine through you and your makeup, your work. You don't need to cover it or hide it or change it. I mean, you can cut your face with professionals, but you also can draw your face if you want to change it. Okay, let's close it. This part I hate. It gets everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Let's do the lower part of the face. Okay, girls, if you have, oh boys, if you have the second chin, like I today don't have, but I probably can do it like this and you can see it. But let's cover it up and like show our shape on the bone structure right here. Like this, just going back and forth. Okay, and blending it again to make sure it's everywhere evenly. Not like a dark spot, spot in one area and let me draw a bit narrower my chin right here. If I want to do the men makeup, I will apply my contour like from here down below. But since I'm doing like women version, let's not do that and stop right here. Oh, and right here, let it a bit, make it narrow. You see, V shape, it's nice. Make it, you can make it a bit shorter by this way if you need it. And under the lower lip, I'm holding it more of my contour like this. And buff it a bit in the palette and let me build it up again. Okay, hide it. Good. Uh, not even hide it, just blend it. Now let's blend it. Okay, good. Good. Is it good? Do you like it? Do you want to do that? Try it. Just let's do it together. Turn it on. Put it on the side as I usually do. Well, I sometimes wash <laughs> cleaning my brushes or doing like laundry or washing some dishes. Okay. Do you see my second chin? You'll probably still see it, but it's not that appearing to you. <laughs> my old hands is dirty after this photo. You see what I'm talking about? This is, I'm trying to close it and you see how much product I got on my cup. My hands start to shake when I'm trying to close it because I, I don't want, I don't like waste product and this one pretty wasteful. I probably will do like I don't know. I know Charlotte trying to help some women to do it without any brushes or sponges or anything, but with this sponge it's just spot 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 and then you're trying to blend it with what? With the same sponge what you have on the contour one? It doesn't work like that. You probably will use a brush or a brush or a sponge. And if you're gonna use them, you probably don't need the sponge right here. You can just do a small nose or something like that to push it. Or even the pump what you have in your foundation, just a smaller one, just to uh, put it on the palette or just on the hand and warm it up and just use the sponge and apply it right here or the brush to apply it again. I don't know if it's a good idea because you don't kind of feel the situation of the sponge on the applicator and you can apply too much. And even it's light and you cannot notice that in probably on the camera, but in the real life, it's still nice and soft and I can kind of see where I have after that I can talk to you <laughs> and feel myself better. And you see, I don't do a lot of blending on the lower uh, part of my cheekbones because I want to make them pop and I will apply a powder later right here which will do the baking effect and make it uh, look much better. Oh, we forgot nose. For nose, let me use a small brush. This one for concealer by Jason. Let's use this one for the nose. So, if you have wide nose, you need to draw in new nose. And if it's straight and doesn't go like that, it's good. If it does like that, uh, you can try to draw and new line, but I don't know how it's gonna go. I didn't try it because my nose, you see, how it is. But I recommend to try, look at the mirror and see if it's good for photo. It's great, you can do that uh, to straighten your nose. But if it's bad in a mirror, you probably don't wanna go outside of that. Uh, it's just a suggestion. You can do whatever you want, <laughs> still go outside. But let me go ahead and start to apply to my nose. You see right here when it connects to the eyebrows and you already see it has a shadow kind of. And it's probably, you also see the shadow right here, or right here, or right here, it's pretty straight. I don't need to correct a lot, but maybe I will also, oh, today I saw person with like lower nose going down and you can easily correct it also with the just applying it to the lower part right here. I will intend to make it to the middle of the nose and let me go down like this. Good, you see it? I can even blend it with the brush I did before but don't move it around too much because we don't want to affect where we lose it from our foundation and with our foundation as well. You see already? I'm kind of bad blending but anyway. <laughs> Apply probably too much too high but anyway let's continue making it smaller. Let's bring it closer right here and draw a straight line but don't focus on your natural anatomy. Just focus on drawing straight line. You see how nice I shake it? Like this. Let's do the parallel line. Oh, <laughs> not parallel, probably because right now it's drawn a bit like this. But make it straight to the top. And here you just go into the brow to make it longer. Okay, you see? Pretty easy. You can go under the brow and just create the crease. But I want to, I have a hooded eye. So this is it. After that, we just need to blend. And it's pretty straight. You see? Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Need to do more right here. Good. Are we good here? So we draw in your nose. Let's blend it a bit. This is this one. This is also the concealer buffer. So we use that one concealer buffer for blush. But we don't need the blush anywhere. I need to blend it. And it doesn't fix. I hope I was going somewhere. I need to blend it ages. The borders. Ages. Yeah. Now we age. Went through while we've been out. Drinking your water. Just so blend all the age. Like this going forward. Like this. Not too much work right here, but still. Blend it. Blend it. Blend it. Blend it, blend it. Like this, oh my god, this nose is a terrible job, and this job done by you. That's my first terrible job. Not even in makeup. I think I, I missed the line 
make it lighter. Yeah, let's apply it back. Good, nice. Found it and laid my face. You see how narrow my nose become? And we didn't even apply the powder yet. It's gonna be so much fun after the powder. Okay, contour is done officially. Let's reapply some blush because I don't see it anymore. And let's again go ahead and use the blush by makeup forever. And I use this one for later. Yeah, no, yeah, oh, yeah, I think I use this one later. Which one I use from here? Probably this one. Okay, okay, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Let me apply it on a highlight area right here. Okay. And since it's cream, I can apply it even in a couple of layers. It's pretty cream. I mean, it's helping to be down, but right now, it's just such a small enemy to my face. This one, I started wearing it. Oh, I'm gonna get high here, but anyway, I'm gonna lay it here. Also, a bit higher. So, no worries about that. Let's go and move on to the blender. And I'll use the blender because it's still fresh. Let me do it right here. And move this side right here, like that. Just my head just a little more. And then over here, we go in this motion. Whew! I kind of just came from Finter. Wow. Nice. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, the blender here. Right here. Put it right here. Okay, okay, this side. I can also use the blender. The blender there. Okay, you blend it nicely. Maybe you need to draw like a yellow line, but it's kind of invisible. I can't do it right now. Maybe next season. But still, see how soft it is. But you can see our direction. Look, oh no, Steven, we didn't integrate that much. But anyway, okay, let's move on to powder. And with powder, I love to use, guess what? Laura Mercier in Translucent. And it's Translucent Loose Setting Powder, which is going to set our cream texture. If you didn't know that, as I did not, you need to use some cream underneath or powder. And then you set it with powder and it keeps it in place and it stays for longer and you kind of like having like durable makeup what you need to demolish later with your oil or something to remove it from your face but well, with this powder you're gonna set it and this one by ben eye it's super white professional powder i never used it before but we're going to use it today in the area under the eyes and probably on here and on the chin there this size i'm going to use now laura mercier and the rest is also going to be laura thank you laura for your beautiful beautiful powder water so in the love book okay let's move on to ben uh, and it was like a couple months when i did it so you see i haven't opened it yet it's a sticker <laughs> Sorry, Ben, I am so stupid. But anyway, where should I put it? <laughs> How should I pick up it with like, uh, I don't know, like jungle sponge or this cotton base or the foot brush? I mean, I can use a small brush and go ahead and pick it up from the cup or lid, what I have. But I don't want to do that. I want to do something else. But I don't know what to use for that. So let me try and use a brush uh, for my lightest area. And they're probably not too big, so I don't need a huge brush for my powder. Let's use NARS. I, I don't think I have to NARS. It's kind of like a taco for the brush, kabuki brush. But I don't see it right now. Oh, where is it? Let me find it. Ooh. Okay, I found it. I found it, guys and girls, right here. This is Nars, Hakuho the brush, kind of. Kabuki brush. <laughs> but kind of like Hakuho has this uh, similar one, like this one. See, it's a bit taller and maybe a bit flatter compared to this one. This is a rabbit tail, I love it. But let's move on and use this one for today's mini challenge. Okay. Ooh, so light. Let me try it first. I never use it. Oh, it's gonna be a surprise for me. I mean, it's not that bad. But I'm gonna see if I find it. Do you see it? Kind of nice to bleach an area, to make it lighter, to highlight it. But still, not be as a clown. Even I have some clown stuff to use, and we're gonna use it soon. So. Don't be lost. I hope you're gonna be here to see the nice change. We probably will do Joker makeup, something similar. And I heard it's gonna be a new Joker movie soon with Lady Gaga and Joaquin. Is it Joaquin? Yeah, I think. I need to check it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm bad with names. If it's something different, please leave a comment below before I go and find it for myself. But it should be somewhere from there. Okay. You see, I didn't do anything for eyes yet, and it's probably gonna be light pink because and because I don't wanna mess you up, girls, on your Valentine's Day or boys. <laughs> So if we have a lot of light, I just will go ahead and use my blender here and reapply that to soften a bit. And probably will also use a cotton pod on here. Good. All the spots what need to be white is white. Need to be white. Probably this is too white, but I can try to fix it with Laura Mercier. Let's get more. Mm. And let's apply this one with also probably sponge. But I'll use this one. It's a cotton one. Pink one. I think I got it from Amazon. It was like 20, 20 pieces or maybe more. Let's see what I do. Like from the middle of the ear, I'm also gonna intend to go here in the corner of my mouth. But so I started doing like this to make more precise. And after that, I just blend it like this to make it softer. But this is pretty much it for going here. Not maybe this area too. Just to make sure. Just to make sure it's perfect. You see, it's kind of I was at I don't know some plastic surgery, and they created a nice shape for my mouth. Maybe a bit higher. Why are you turning? I think it does the one of all this. Yeah. Much softer. I'm going pretty soft on me. I don't know. So, since I didn't do my 
ads first and I went with my, as you can see, cool. So since I didn't do my eyes first and I went in with full face all makeup already, you see? All watery, disappearing underneath the powder. Apply it everywhere. Let me reapply them to the white area over here. And we set it, set it, set it in place. We also can use the dry texture to like redo the same thing. And I will, pro I probably will do that. But let me first finish with that. You see my lips already kind of going all in concealer and the powder and all this stuff. And it's going to dry them pretty quick. But that's all right. It's the way it's supposed to be. Because it's happened every time to me. And I hope you don't have this problem as I do. But if you still have it, Please share how you fixing it because I just but we can apply the kind of like what is it? Sorry, I'm getting tired. So we can apply some Carmex on top of like my lips just to keep them. Mmm, this stuff is pretty good. I love that. What is this one? Cream shade. Okay. Yeah, like to the lips. That's why I continue because it's so dry already. Mmm, 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 mmm. Because if you can start. Okay, so I probably fix everything and you can see how more or less I become and didn't like didn't increase my creases and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I did not, but sometimes my nose is trying to play a game with me right here. Created a lot of creases. Okay, on the eye it's good as well. And it's applied everywhere. Okay, let's try to and it's fine, sorry. Apply this one. It's already not right, so okay good. It should be good on the camera. Even on the light this one looks like <laughs> let's first of all do eyes. Okay, it's a long time day. What eyes do you want to see from me? I can do Something natural. Let's do from light to dark. And I, probably, I don't have Charlotte Tilbury. I have Anastasia Beverly Hills and also my makeup by Mario. Uh, what is it? Set prep and blah blah blah. What is it? Mm, blah, 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 blah. It's a prep and set. So let's prep with light because I'm going to do lighter makeup today. And let's do light with this flat fill crease brush. Let's apply some makeup by Mario in lighter shade like this. And let's apply it to the power area and also underneath the eye. And let's blend it to the temple like this. I don't even get enough. I got another brush hair on my face. That's good. It's not good. You don't need to have brush hair if you start to do that to your face. Just try to swipe them like you swipe on your Tinder. <laughs> that was my brush again. And get more of this beautiful base. I like it because it's easy to apply. Even Anastasia has it in a tube with a nozzle, which is also easy to apply. And you need to do something to blend it. I mean, Anastasia is good if you want to go. Like, I don't say for professionals right now. Like, for everyday commuter who is doing makeup inside the car, it's probably pretty easy. Just apply it on your lid and just blend it with your finger if you don't have any brushes. Because, oh my god, I hate to see the car after that finger was on your eye. And then you try to, like, <laughs> grab in the wheel to see the spots on the outside with pretty light shades on it. Since it's, like, in the crease area. So I don't think you use the dark one for the base. I mean, we, we will use the dark shades later for, like, smoky eye or so, something that needs it to make the base pretty dark to keep it tonight. Okay, today, let's do Patrick Ta major dimension number three palette and let's see it's pretty nice it has two shades which is cream and then the rest is in the powder dry yeah like this and it's pretty clean because i didn't use it too much and i want to do something lighter in the inner corner and go blend it in such 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 natural shades in the corner and maybe make it a bit darker in my hooded eye to create it open and go like outside so the so defining looks brush like this it's 227 by jsub so it's the same as zoeva so let's start with white in the inner i don't know how good the white is let's see together Let's try to blend it like to the top because we need lighter underneath our eyebrows right here in the inner corner and I tend to go down as well. Oh, you see how it highlights my inner area and I like it because I have a darker area here and I want it to, to be bright. I like You see how big the area become? Okay, let's switch to the next one. This one. I don't know, do you want to use the pencil today to create the small wing for the eye? You can do that. I probably can do that and create something nice. But I'm not sure if you want it, guys, girls. Mm. See? Is it open? Is it open enough? Do you see my eye? So we'll create a crease, a new crease, probably somewhere here to continue and go outside. I have like more hoodie eye probably on this side. Because <laughs> we're not symmetrical, girls, guys. And you know, probably it's already I'm not opening something new for you. Uh, let me go ahead and use the first shade right here. Apply it to the brush again. Let's clean the brush a bit. Let's start to use the corner of the eye right here. Mm. I already like it, but I need to do more right here. Because it's where the hood is. Or the, I don't know, where the darkest area is supposed to be. Like right here. And we'll define it better and try to move it to the temple right here so it kind of goes in this direction and follows the natural shape of your eye so the lower lid right here in the lower line you see the straight line so you need to kind of follow the direction of that in my case if i look like that it goes like this and it goes to the temple i'm going to draw a bit higher i don't want to put it away too much because right now it's already kind of blended fine but let's do the second eye as well we need to move it up and out of our corner and also see our shape let me see it again let's just see it like this let's go here okay it's going again to the temple 
I know for girls or guys who are doing art school, oh, like, well, like to draw is me. Sometimes it's, oh, it's easy, it's just drawing. But when you try to do it on the shape like this, it's free, it is 3D, and sometimes it's hard to like manipulate the canvas when it's not even. And this canvas is definitely not even. It has a lot of bumps and jumps and all this stuff. But I don't mind it. I like it. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And we go back and play it a bit like this in the inner corner. And you see, it's pretty soft. It's fine. And it's still, still the brush. I don't know if it's good. Today, it's kind of sharp. Usually it's not. I'm doing this way. Let me do this side as well. Let me do this side. Minimum pressure, even though it probably doesn't look so because I press a lot. But I want it to be fine. This eye as well. Like this, and a bit of shading, blending, and all this stuff. Let's make it more. <laughs> I don't mind. Okay, pretty soft, pretty light. I like it. You could blend it with the light one that we had before. Which one I use on that? This one, probably. Is it good? Yeah. I like this. You see, it's already kind of opened my eyes. Fire, let me check. I have like probably much fire right there on the middle eye, but this one. And you see, when I start to do eyes, I kind of intend to like slow it down and speaking because I need more control with eyes. Because I'm pretty bad at it. I mean, I'm not that bad at eyes, but I'm bad at keeping them clean and similar to each other. That's why I need to keep silent when I'm doing that. Let me do the lower eyelid as well. We're still going up and down and up. And my eye tends to turn like this, and if we want to make it straight or turn it like an almond shape, we need to continue our lower eye straight. But I'll do it with a different brush, which is smaller and easy to use. Because this one is hard to blend and to attack. Like this. Oh. I love this eye. Can you see this one? Kind of good. I need to blend it a bit more. Like this. So since we're doing like kind of brown shades, we probably can use the brown eyeliner to create a nice wing. But I don't know if we want to do that. Oh, I just want to keep it like that. Okay, let's go and switch to pencil. Smaller, smaller brush. Grab one by the cup forever, which is 212. And let me grab something darker. We're going to grab the next shade just not to jump around. Uh, it's just in one place. You have everything what you need for like natural and nude makeup. Uh, let's try to use that then. Okay, see with where is my darkest area is supposed to be. And let's build color right there. And we do topping again, like we did with the foundation before. I need to look straight to see my crease. And it's right here. Okay. I need to build it up with a lot of shade, sorry. I'm starting to get silent a lot. I'll try and, I mean, I can be silent when I do eyes, can't you? See, I'm trying to make it nice. Oh my god. It's back again, my curse. When I do makeup, when I do makeup on my eyes, my nose starts to leak. It's awful. It's terrible. And it's nothing to be proud of or share. Sorry, I'm gonna be quiet a bit. I'm doing a hard part of my eyes. I hate it, and I hate when I'm quiet. But it needs to be done right now. Always, I'm not gonna do that. Probably. Oh, you see how small the brush? I love this one. And I'm gonna blend the edge of the crease that I create right here. To make it softer, make it softer in here. And you probably can see how it blends. It creates a gradient from dark to light. I, mean, I don't have anything to gradient it with. And you see how good the shape? You just need to fix this one. Make it softer. And it's pretty much the same. You're just drawing it in the direction it's supposed to go. Going back and forth without pressing too much on your brush. Just let it go it like that. Like this. You see the like super fat of my eye going this direction? I still need to blend this one a bit more right here. Probably I would need to apply more darker in this area, but you already can see it's pretty good. I mean, the, the darkest shade, what you can easily blend, probably brown. And I will force you to do brown makeup first just to try it out to make sure you're comfortable with creating the shade. And just switch it back to whatever shape, shape you like. Like black, or oh, I mean, black is pretty hard to blend, or violet, but you still can play with that. The more you play, the better you are, as I always say. I think it's pretty nice and blended. Look at this eye, and I didn't use them liner or anything and this crease right here i'm gonna blend a bit and add something for, which is much lighter <laughs> let's let's use this one now a new brush but i don't know who or what created and i'll do this one feature looking color so apply it right here to blend it well with the brown just like this and you see it's already softer and we'll do the next step one step closer to me and apply this one to the middle even i probably will do sparkling right here but i want to blend it with this brown Make it lighter. 
everything. Should be good to go. Should we blend it better? Or is it good enough? Let me blend still a bit. Probably like here. To move the darkest back where it was. Maybe right here. Okay, look at the camera, see? And we need the darkest right here as well. Just to make sure we're not losing it right here. Just reapply it a bit. And we'll, we'll blend it with the same brush we just blended with the top eye. Top lid, sorry. Right here. Mm -hmm. And don't stop like in the middle of the eye. You can go closer. Right here. And as I said, you need to make sure you're doing like straight. Straight in your own. I have like both rows right now, but the brush is like this. Not promoting any of my company or any, anyone. I'm just doing it for fun. And I'm telling the truth, what I feel and how it works. And sometimes I also do it. I keep, intend to keep it longer just to make sure you can easily see how good it is. Or if it's not good and it doesn't stay on your face and you don't want to sleep in the salad like after like midnight with your makeup already lost, you probably wouldn't need some advice for that. And I'm happy with my eye. I just need to do some glitter. And that's it. Let's do some sparkling. So since it's a Valentine's Day, let's go with something pink and shine. Let's do bodyography. This one is pretty. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I like this one. Shiny and glossy. Let me try a new brush that I just got. It's a silicone brush, which I intend to use on my lips. But this one, it's more like this. I don't know the brand. I got it from AliExpress, so it's pretty cheap. Let me try if it's gonna grab anything from here. And I'm trying to apply. Ooh. 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 Oh my god, so good. Let me do it again. And if I go to the bacon underneath, just to make sure I don't lose any shade on my on my cheeks. Oh my jaw. Maybe like this. I probably will blend it a bit right here. And it should be more than enough for you to see. And you have some sparkle and it's pretty light and it's kind of pink. Like, mmm, I'm so ready for the night <laughs> until I have my lashes put on. Okay, let's see what I'm missing. I'm missing the inner eye. And what do I want to do for that? I want to lighter, probably also highlighting it by using something. Let's see what I can use there. This is Mac, and it's like their special winter Siri. Siri? Uh -huh. Not Siri. Stop Siri. It's special. S <laughs> special edition by makeup well, Mac, by Mac. and it's warm one they have a cool one and i also have it but i want to use this one so i'm going to use the lightest highlighter right here and apply it in my inner corner let's use this one details smoky blender by zoe Lai, and it's 230 and let's apply it like this let's see if it works oh i like it it has some gold in that okay. so do you see it guys i don't know camera kind of doesn't see me try to apply it right here uh, let me leave it like that right now and I'll go into the second one. and we will we'll do probably eyeliner and also mascara and we'll decide if we want some lashes or maybe not I mean with the mascara on it's already gonna be good for the date but I might go crazy tonight and go into something else but then I buy Ben new eye new eye not Ben eye but new eye if I said Ben eye before I was wrong sorry guys this is Ben new eye why okay okay let's see I did darker but I didn't do darkest need to look straight for that because I usually to create some mess right here I need to connect it with my eye which is hooded okay it's already created a ring like i didn't want to okay this one is nice need to pull it through this okay this is nice too let me continue with my crease we created right here mm -hmm. and it's gonna be enough for me i think let me just mix it right here sorry i can quiet when i try to do my eyes so i will enjoy the process in silence and trying to repeat after me and when you're done with the pretty we'll discuss it together as i do as well let's look in the in the screen and see how crazy easy i'm doing that okay let's try blend on top first you know girls and guys sometimes i intend to move my head instead of a brush i don't know if it's good when you're doing yourself i mean it's definitely not good if my model i'm gonna do that when i try to do makeup on her but let's see maybe it's fun experience like because you know when I do my nails sometimes when I do it by myself I intend not to move the nail I no, I mean, not nail I mean feel I'm not intend to move feel from side to side I'm using my nail and finger to move side to side instead of oh my god I'm pretty ready right I saw in love with these days I find it great to blend find it great to see how I'm blending this one probably is too dark probably I moved concealer too early oh we can just make it a bit wider right here but I'm going it on the date oh my god what did I do probably didn't want to do that I just put my brush inside the shade what was a clean brush before and was used for shading this one all right now my wink is too high so some people but i did the right like this one here yeah and let me apply the darker let's make this one let's see oh i love it nice shading it's transferring so easy to the eye 
and create a nice band that let me play a bit more with dark and to build it up again here because I lost it from this one. Okay, and let's blend it again with with this small mind, so small, tiny baby brush. I know. Does it look bigger or does it look weirder? Uh, it might look weirder. Sorry, I'm going to continue my eyes straight right here. Okay, I'm looking at that. Okay. Sometimes I just mess it up right here, but I will clean it up with a concealer, so don't worry about that. Let me go ahead and do highlighter. Nice light right there. Beautiful. Oh, let's go on the shiny part on top. I switch to this brush and I'm gonna go like this. I love it. Complications I think like this. I used to use finger and grab it pretty good because it still has some oil in my finger. It just helps to leave the pigment with a little bit of shine. I need a bit more here because I think this one shines harder. I still need to raise it a bit. Like this. Should be fine, let me do a bit more. This one is fine. Okay. I think it's good. And it's symmetrical. I hope you can see it. Is it, is it symmetrical? I hope. <gasps> Sorry, when I'm doing my eyes, I'm so concentrated and looking down in my mirror. So if you don't see my beautiful face for like more than five minutes, yell at me. Why is it so bad? Why are you looking down? Why is it so important? What is that? Nothing. Just my eyes. And I want to make sure they are pretty perfect. <laughs> Highlighter, which I put inside of my corner eye. So this one. Do I have the name for that? This one, how, it looks, how beautiful it looks from this side. From that side, there's some information on the glowy part. And if you find it, it was a special edition, so I don't know if it still exists. I hope you can. Because it was during the last days of Christmas and New Year. It was on the sale. Was it? Yeah, I think it was on the sale. So it's special edition and New Year's ending. Maybe they need to keep it longer, so they probably sold it out. But I mean, of course, someone will resell it if you need it. But you can use some glitter with. It's kind of peachy undertone, but it has gold as well. I got my brush again inside this shade, as I usually do. So is it perfect? It's all together. Pour it down a bit like this. So I'm blending. Now this one I think blended a bit bad. So maybe my eye got too oily and start to lose the color. So from where it used to be, let's see how it went. Watch it. Yeah, this one, beautiful Mars. Let me fix a bit here. So I want this going all the way down like this. And let's me do this one as well. Okay, pretty good. I'm grabbing the brow liner. By JSA 322. I don't know. I don't think you see the number. I don't think you see anything from there. It's 322. I'm grabbing my concealer, but I just want to make up Let me try to draw a line right here, which I'm gonna count as my concealer liner, which I'm gonna blend down just to clean up the eyeliner and the eyeshadow when I blend it. Okay, and where is my brush from concealer? Was it this one? I hope it was this one. I don't want to create a mess right here. Okay. I think it's pretty soft, <laughs> even if it's not. Sometimes, I hope you cannot see it. I'll blend it with beauty later and also apply it to powder, so don't worry about it. I need to do it kind of symmetrical. But can I do it symmetrical? I'm not sure. Okay, and let's blend it with the brush. And this one, I also want to blend with the brush. There's a bit of blend right here. It's going to create a mess for me. Okay, and let's use the blender right here. And right here. I think I painted all. But we'll fix it with the powder as well. So, what do you think? Does it look good? I think it does. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we're missing something. We're missing lashes and we're missing eyeliner. So, let me do eyeliner and I'm going to grab a pen. Let me do the light liner. And it's pretty light. So, it's 69 in, in blood and it's liquid eyeliner like this. And I'm going to do my eye without using it on my lash shade. I have a silicone for that. Let me see if it works. I don't know. I've never tried a silicone brush to use with eyeliner. Let me just try this one, for example. Do I like it or not? I really like it. It's nice. I mean, eyeliner stuff transfer to the lower lashes. And probably stuff transfer to the waterline at the bottom. Because I need room to stay inside my lashes. And I know, girls and guys, this was. Most unpleasant experience applying makeup into your eye, even with this nice silicone brush. We need to put it inside the 
inside the uh, you know water line and as well we need to put it in between all our lashes make sure it's there even if it's light and it's pretty light compared to uh, number 90 in inkblot as well and it dries pretty fast so it should dry pretty fast so you make sure it's smooth as easy as you can and you see it's right here a bit in the inner corner but it's all right because i still want to draw kind of bird beak and beak beak eyes again dark but you see how nice and easy it was and my shape of the eyes suddenly like changed beautiful no many moments like this okay i got that in the corner of the eye so hard to get this in there And this eye is done. I think it's done. Let me check the underneath. Kind of done, but not done, but not done. Lost my liner right there. You know, I like silicone brushes. I used to use them in the hair applying techniques when I, I was doing some color to the hair. I mean, they're pretty precise, but they don't blend right away. So you need to move. If you bl brush precisely, where you need to apply them makeup and revisit it oh no makeup no you got me the color you need to revisit the area you did it just to make sure everything in, is in place oh i like it look at this beautiful eye and it goes like this i can't watch it blah, blah, blah. i need to learn the lyrics to this song and i will apply a bit more red here and here here and blend it with the brush of the head for dark shade right here into oh my god you see this dark so beautiful i mean it's not perfect to get something in your eye but how you can relate it with makeup doing the eyes with your hands not used to doing that <laughs> beautiful i think it's fine let's let's dry up the lower lid take away by tart okay it's also is it gel liner it's eye highlight like this it's pretty narrow which i like and it's a bit more compared to the previous one that I grabbed by Colourpop. Let me go ahead and do it on my lower lid. You know what I think I do? I think it's the top one in the outer corner. Okay, you see the eye? It's getting so beautiful, so big, but a bit red. <laughs> this is my mantra for the day. Back, beautiful, but red. And I start to cry, and this is not good for my makeup, even though I have an eyeliner, but it's waterproof. This one is like durable as I don't know what. You can cry and cry and cry and cry and it's gonna stay. You're even gonna remove your makeup and gonna try to remove and remove and remove and remove it, but still gonna have it on your face. You also, boys, when you're doing your, when you're using any pencil, please sharpen it before you use it. And it could not transfer any color if you don't. You know, if you like had it for like five years and it was laying down around in your reader box, and then it's like, okay, I'll do. Mm brown today or tonight because i'm doing for valentine's day and it needs to be perfect mm, it's not gonna work if you don't sharpen it i don't i, I don't believe it's gonna work it might it might but i'm not sure okay let's do the brown 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 premiere by premier cabaret or cabaret premiere by vian sabot and it's in shade of 05 which is brown it doesn't say anything but it has a small circle like this here which is going to show you which color it is and it's like this cabaret premiere okay I love the brush what it has so if you're using it on yourself it's pretty amazing if you don't use it on yourself grab another brush and just use it should be good so you know what's happening in my eyes my line is amazing i see i cannot see the color it's very mild right now i think i have something in between my lashes which needs to be written by pencil but it's working i don't believe it is the upper eyebrow and my hair which is fine and it's pretty dodgy and by the way, by the side, you can just go ahead and do this. Look at this. Do you see my lashes? And I do them to the side, right here. Beautiful. Let them dry. Don't, don't turn your head down, please, because it's not waterproof. It's good. You can remove it from your uh, eyes if it got to print. But I recommend you not to do that. You don't want to get print anywhere. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. So beautiful. Your eyes going up. Then look down, I told you. Okay, let's do the second eye. Okay, it's good. I'll let it dry a bit. Don't look down. We can go ahead and start to do eye brows right here. And then I'll return back to the lower lashes. Okay, for the eyebrow. With Vivian Sabo, Paris. 
space and let's do oh zero zero one oh 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 it's an engine oh oh one so it's just oh one and it's long pencil it has brush on one side like this and it's pretty standard for the pencils for all pencils i think but sometimes like c pencils or rather and those are cheap companies please put the brush there we still use it um i intend to do my brow like this but since we're going on a date i will just follow my intro my brow line like this underneath it okay let's create a line do you see it it's supposed to appear it's not going to be pretty dark i mean it will dark be it's going to be dark in the corner but right here oh my god i put too much pressure there you almost don't touch it and go with like drawing technique all the hair like this and build it up because this corner is the darkest part that you're going to see uh in your brows and it's all right Build it a bit but don't go up yet because <laughs> we didn't create the shape of the eyeball yet oh my god will you feed me today I mean, I'm a bit bitchy, hungry bitch. Please feed me. I hope you can treat me tonight. Okay, and I might treat you later, <laughs> my baby. So let's go here and do the same parallel line to the bottom one. No pressure, please. No pressure. Like this. And you see it's pretty visible right now. And just continue to fill in this corner. Just like this. Oh, I love this brown. Looks like this. Can you see, guys? I will straight at you. You can repeat it as well as I do. Let's build past this one. We will draw hairs right here an easy technique like we did before like this continue to the corner again go to the blue one let's go back grab the brush from the other side oh my god why it's so hard to take it off and start to brush it don't put too much pressure because i notice it's kind of removes my foundation from the skin where i had it before i'm just starting to kind of shape it and blend it with the drawing of our hairs hair on the eyebrow See, it's kind of softer here in the corner and harsher here. Harsh here, not harsh there. Harsh, harsh, harsh. So let me try to repeat it on another eye, the second eye. Ooh, let me see the bottom right here. Okay, let me connect with this one. Let me go right here. Take a trace. Let me do the second. Like this. Find the top part right here. What do you think? Is it good? Does it fit our eyebrows? Oh, I need to move it a bit further. Let me corner right here connect it right here and let's connect this one let's do it in the hair technique again like this move brush move brush i'll put it i'll put it maybe it's gonna be too long not perfect but we can work with that let's try again with the brush same technique starting from the bottom creating my shape here blend it pretty easily you see uh i start to blend it and i lost something from from my brows crawl down to my face i pick up a bigger brush with head pencil in it which i'm not gonna use anymore after that and i hope you also won't but you can use a clear brush just to pick up something what fell down on your skin without oh beauty blender but this one as well oh no this is my natural is it why is it here Charlotte? why is it here it's supposed to be covered oh yeah i don't blame you on your foundation <laughs> probably did something no it's my natural i already start to see my dots from my skin probably it's as i said it's medium color but it's all right so look at my brows how they even are they good i think they're good they all, everything filled in oh yeah i have one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. one is longer let me build this one longer by this like this probably lower it i have my natural hair going down here so it might cause a issue but she's fine okay let's do the lower eyelashes and move to lips and finish this one and get ready to go for the date because they probably wait too long already okay let's do the lower lashes i can use the fan brush what i have for my i have not like lashes but let's do it with the regular brush or try to do it just like this so let's move on to the this one no sorry this one doesn't work, doesn't work. And if you do struggle with lower lashes and you have internet in the city, you can order something like this. This is a fan brush and you can easily apply your lashes lower, high, upper, and no problem at all. You can watch it later and reuse it again. Just apply it like usual with the fan, like, like, like the same, like this one. You can use both of them. Okay, this is my eye, so let's move on to lips. Lomar number 229, it's a tender. It's a bit tender. It's fresh pencil. Ooh. Let's do the let's do like that. Because we have a pressure to the teeth. 
and we can easily apply uh, pencils while like wandering on the soft parts of the lips. This is going to be a hard uh, background for easy application of the lips. Okay, corners are ready. I probably need to touch on this one. No, this one. And all you need to know about lips, you need to soften just in the areas in the middle right here and right there. You can draw more now. No, I like it. It should be fine. Yeah, let's go in inner corner right here. And can I uh, the top part? Supposed to go in like a natural white anatomy of your lips. Like this. And you probably wanna Bring it more, a little bit right here, right there. Uh -huh. Okay, the white part, outer corner. Okay, feel it. You see how beautiful my lips are on top. Okay. I don't know why you don't see it as I do. But it's pretty good. This one looks sharp, but when I look in the mirror, it does not. I'm starting to do the math. I will keep the group. Thanks, girl. No, I can't. Much softer. Softer. Right now, let me grab the concealer brush that I used before. Oh my eyes. Let's see if I still have something left on this brush. If not, I just grab the concealer again. Grab it. What's happening to my nose? I think. Good. Oh, concealer. Can take some stuff like that. Also blended in. Okay, I did it. Where is the brush? Okay, be fine. Let's go ahead and move to the lower one. So here it's pretty easy for me. I have a big lip right here. I don't even know sometimes if I need to go on the light parts. A bit right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So there you're not done again. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you see, it's already good. And let's see what lipstick we're gonna use because yeah, I probably will use Mars right here. It's a waterproof. Oh, I don't think it's me, but it's not waterproof. Okay, looks like this. And I'll use a plastic brush like that. Just apply it to the brush. And start to. Oh my god, it's matching the pencil. Kumar, how did you know what lips I'm gonna do? Look, beautiful. Pretty perfect. Now I'm trying to learn the numbers of the. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you the Mars lipstick. This is this one. And the shade is Dolce Vita. Okay, and the brush I'm using is 231 Lux Petit Cris. I'm just using. Lipstick to my lips, like that. Okay, let's do it all. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Let's maybe, uh, I mean, this pencil match. So, you need to remember this Dolce Vita in Mars, a lip color foundation air matte, and this one is Flomar 229 Tender Cream. And they kind of from one family, even you see how different the colors right here. You can see the difference here. I don't. And this is crazy. How beautiful. I love it. We probably will need to darken it in the inner corners. Let me also find some flom flomar pencils to darken it, like this one, in the inner corners. But don't put too much of it. They'll think you ate before and they won't treat you with food. Okay, now. So I'm gonna close your. Good. And that looks better. And we might need some lighter, lighter dots, just like. Here on the soft part, I will do it with the same brush. Just apply a bit here, here, just like this. Oops. I'm gonna do a little highlight here, and it's NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I don't know the people shade. Kyra, a little bit better. 
Oop. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let's finish it with highlighter. I didn't do the highlighters, you remember? Okay, so let's put a bit on my face right now. We need to apply the false setting spray. Like this. Let's grab something for highlighter. Let's do pre budget wet and uh, wild. Uh, 319B Blossom Glow. It looks like this. Pretty easy to find. And Mega Glow. Okay, let's brush it on the brush and pick it up a bit. Mm, you see? Oh, it doesn't smell good. Don't smell it. Now let's do it to the highlighter area. It goes here. Is it gonna be? Yeah, it's right here. Mm -hmm. And let's do the same here. Probably can apply this here underneath our eyebrows. I don't know if you can see on eyebrows, but I can see it right here. Do a little bit like this. And it's stuck pretty well. Wow. Mm, beautiful. What about my nose? Why is this? Has, has a dot in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. Do you see it? Let's do this thing right here. On the tip of the nose. And a bit right here. The third eye. I don't want to do it here and here because I still have a glow from our beautiful Charlotte Tilbury. But then today we did a nice makeup with wild any lashes, without any tapes. And we fixed our uh, hooded eye right here. We created a nice turned eye using just eyeliner and we did the nice soft sexy lips for this look they kind of takes attention to you and that's pretty much it what do you think about the look so we spent with you like three hours and six minutes to create this beautiful look i hope you didn't waste your time inside the salon to do the same for three hours and six minutes but i hope you enjoyed my video today please subscribe like it and leave a comment below about what we're going to do in the next videos because this is for valentine's day and i hope you all have love or if you don't you love yourself and enjoy the company of yourself because nobody's going to love you as you can love yourself I have concealer on my mic. Well, I have something else on my mic. It looks like base or something. That's it. I say bye for everyone. And if you still have some questions, please leave a comment below. Also, check this video and see for yourself. See you guys in the next videos. Bye.